YouTube followers. Welcome to my channel, Getting On. Today I'm about to embark on a massive install of a mix of Denali, Inov, Wunderlich, Remus, Givy. Uh, what else have I got here? Uh, Quadlock and a number of other components. So let me show you what I'm about to do and what I'm doing it on. So here we have a brand new 2021 BMW R1250 GS Adventure in the 40th anniversary colors. This is my own bike. And I've done some stuff on it already when I picked it up yesterday evening. I fitted the plastic windshields on the handguards and I fitted my uh, EP Performance crash bar metal protectors. I also installed my Remus exhaust. It came off my last 1250. I fitted my sat nav and I mount my tool token on top of that. So let's have a look at what I'm installing today. So as I've said, Remus exhaust is already fitted. I'm putting on a Givy power mount for the power hub in the top in the tank bag. I've got a series of quad lock accessories. So starting off with the mount for the handlebars, the anti-vibration unit, the wireless charging head and then the case for my iPhone XS Max. I have already fitted or offered it up for the journey home yesterday. The quad lock accessories. Um, I actually quite like that position so I'll probably leave it there. Moving on to the Denali package. Starting off with, I'm going with the dual CAN smart system. So I, I already had the hex version of the CAN smart. I've purchased a Denali. I had these D4s on my previous 1250, which I'll be fitting again. I'm fitting a new set of S4s, then the mounts uh, for the S4s. Um, I'm not going to use a circuit on the CAN Smart for the sound bomb. I'm going direct. I'm going to sw swap out the, the filters on the lights for the amber. And then I've got a number of other accessories in case I need them. I'm also putting on a B6. There are some of the harnesses that came off the previous bike. And then on to the other. So I've got a row electronic sampling, which is uh, Bluetooth. And uh, you can enable and disable uh, some of the circuits via the Bluetooth. I've got a Speedo Angels cover for the sat nav. I've got a Speedo Angels cover for the TFT. That's a nano glass. I've got a Cymark. TFT theft protector. I've got a Cymark windshield brace and then I've got some bumpers for the engine bars, KNN air filter, an Inov K5. Inside this box is the BMW emblem lights and then I've got some frame bungs from Wunderlich. And these ones are the specific ones for the 1250 GS for the top of the engine bars. Uh, I've then got a little top tip for you. When you're taking all of your stuff off the bike and some of the original components are not going back on, just get yourself a few Ziploc bags and just write in on a piece of card or a piece of paper what is it, what it is inside the bag. I'm also putting my Denali sound bomb from my previous GS onto the new GS. And then I just sort of carry a bit of components. This is some of the leftover boxes from a previous install. I've got some cable tidy, different, uh, different thicknesses that should be over here. So this is what I'm about to embark on today. I doubt I'll get it all done but she has to be stripped down, down to her skeleton, you could say, and then I'll start from there. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy. So I left out a couple of components, which I'll show you now. Moon Rider 
updated headlight guard for the 2021 GS Adventure or GS in the XC configuration and also a gel tank pad um, in the 40th anniversary colors. And finally, I also forgot this. Um, this is the adapted uh, radiator grill for the 1250 GS Adventure. It'll also do the 1200. It will not do the non-adventure. So this is courtesy of Steve Abel from A Bike Thing. Thank you, Steve. Steve uh, adapts these himself. He buys them from BMW and adapts them to make them ready for the fitting of the Inov K2, K3 or K5 system. Okay, folks, so I've just taken off the, the back carrier and the back under seat towel. Two bolts here, two bolts here, two bolts here and here, and two bolts here and here. Then you undo the Panair carrier from here and the same over there on that side. So let's take that bolt out actually. There's the carrier, Panair carrier and top box carrier removed. Okay, so here's the adapted front rail that I got from Steve Abel from a bike thing. And I've decided I want to put my K5 4K camera at the front of the bike rather than the back. So what I've done is I further adapted the grill that I got from Steve. Steve cuts out uh, the front hole and puts in the grommet. And I've cut out the shape of the camera in the back so that the camera can slot through. Let me just put the camera in and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the camera in. Um, I made the slot in the back quite a bit bigger so that I could adapt the angle. So looking in there now, with the grill sitting straight, the camera itself is fairly straight there with room to move it up and down 